And it's a statistic that often shocks Irish people that skin cancer is the most prevalent form of cancer mm. in Ireland because we don't get any sun. But unfortunately, <laughs> You fell victim to it and you ignored it for a few years. Tell, tell us your story. Yeah, so I, I really didn't have a clue what it was. It, it started, I'd say, back in 2008 even. Um, it started as a, just a freckle. There was a bump on the top of it and I picked it and it just bled for a while, like an unusual amount of time. Mm. And then it hardened up and over about three years, it hardened into like a black, bumpy, itchy kind of growth. So it was about the size of like a two cent coin. And what age and then? Wow. Yeah, so I was about 16 when it, that started and I was diagnosed at 19. Wow. So yeah. what made you go and get, get it checked? Or at what point did you go, this isn't, this isn't right? I actually it was my mother who thought it was a bit weird looking and I went in with a chest infection. It was totally on a whim. And I went into my GP and then he, uh, from there, then he knew, like... He didn't knew by looking at it? Mm, yeah, it's quite obvious then. And what was the path you? then? What was the, what was the treatment? So that was, I think that's why it's important for people to know that melanoma isn't just a nick off the skin. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of people are under that impression. It's, um, they remove the surrounding area from where it is as well. So mm -hmm. it was in my, uh, on my right calf. So they had to remove the whole of that right calf as well. Like, so. To excise the whole yeah. of wow. Yeah, yeah. And then all went quiet for about seven years. And then um, it returned in my lymph nodes. So on the right hand side of my groin, um, a lump was formed. But I wouldn't have known either to look for that un unless, you know, my surgeon, he said, yeah. Jack Kelly, he's great. He said, watch out for there because that's mm. where it would travel via the lymph nodes. And I thought it was an ingrown hair. Again, I went into denial. I said, no way, you know. So, wow. so yeah. at what, what was the treatment plan then? Again, it's surgery do? is the best thing. It's the first thing that they kind of go in if they can. And uh, so they took out all my lymph nodes on the right hand side of my groin. Uh, well, a good few of them anyways. Mm. And that left me with lymphedema, which you see with breast cancer patients as well. We have to wear a compression garment. Because so basically your whole limb swells. Yes, yeah. so it's a constant balancing act of keeping the limb down. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, when you look at that picture there, <clears throat> um, wow, that yeah. is just one of the many... That's a flare up there now. ...side effects now yeah. that you have. And it, people might be saying, but you have the pitting, it's uncomfortable, oh, your skin it's... is so tight, it's not pleasant at it's all. It's not, and the heat drives it mad as well, so, yes. And, and how are you now? I'm very good now, good, yeah. Good. It took a long time, though. There's a, bit, a good physical and mental battle to get to where I am now. Yeah. Um, and I've had an awful lot of support along the way, which yeah. has carried me. But I'm in a great place now, but it took a while. I mean, people say, oh, you're so positive, but it's kind of, I think, important to note as well that it's, uh, you, yeah, you will show that. Of, yes. yeah. But there, are, there was a few tough years now put down, to be, yeah. to be honest with you, you know. Melanoma is probably the oldest known cancer because it's on the skin. So it's been going back since Roman yeah. times. Oh, and yet yeah. it was c completely, um, there was poor treatments for it. Yeah. But thankfully that has changed. And uh, I alluded to, like, you think skin cancer, we've no sun in this country really, but the fact that the prevalence is so yeah. high here as well, there are things to look out for and things to do to prevent <clears throat> yourself getting it. Sunscreen obviously is one of them, but there, there's a few other things. So the, <coughs> in 2019, the um, HSE and the National Cancer Control Programme drew up a skin cancer prevention plan. And the, the main thing that people know about is the five S's. So between April and September, the sun is high enough in the sky to give you enough radiation at ground level even on a cloudy day, to cause damage to the cells at the surface of your skin. So you need to protect from the 1st of April to the end of September. And the first thing is to use clothing. Don't be relying on sunblock. So cover up, long sleeve t-shirts. Wear um, a hat as well, I presume. So that's, so. It's slide on uh, yeah. cl your clothing. Wearing a hat, particularly um, for poor men who've lost um, mm -hmm. hair, that, you know, their scalps really are at risk. And particularly, this is really important for children. Long sleeve clothing and sun hats. Then use your sun factor, at least a factor 30 for adults and then a 50 for children. On the face, you know, the neck here, if yeah. you're wearing a V-neck, the backs of the hands, you get radiation through the windscreen of your car. Wow, you have to be so, so careful. Incredible. Uh, Use sunglasses <clears throat> and then seek shade. And particularly important for children between 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock to try and keep them in the shade and to use a shade, you know, a shade on the, um, your buggy or a pram. Absolutely. Yeah.